Review yep. Series. It's your boy Steven the Dream. I am live. We are on YouTube right now. And I got two very, very special guests with me right now, man. Carolina Love is here, man. I'm telling y'all. All, all the way from Wilmington. We got Dirty F. White is in the building. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Breeze Davis. Breeze Davis. In the building as well, man. How y'all doing today? I'm chilling, man. Good, good, man. good man. Glad to be out of that car. I was about to say, man. Hey, man. These <laughs> fellas took, took the journey, man, hey, to come look. see you, boy. So I appreciate hey, y'all, man. Let, let's start off, man. Wilmington. Yeah. What, what What's the area code? What y'all are? It's the 910. 910, baby. Talk about the 910 real quick, gentlemen, man. What, man. What, what, where's that come from? Because I know you guys, you you, you homebred 910 all the way. You you come from a little I'm different. Florida, yeah. you, Flo you Jacksonville. Florida, baby. Florida, my family's out from Carolina, but I'm still a transplant. Okay, let, let's talk about the, the Wilmington experience and just uh, everyday life. Let's not even get into the music all the way. Let's just go a normal day in Wilmington. What you going to see? What you going to do? You got to go to the little bakery down the street. The little bakery. You go to the beach. Like, what? what's the move? I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much okay. it. Okay. Go to the bakery and then go to the beach and go home. Nah, but uh, <laughs> if you if you Urban Dictionary, Wilmington, North Carolina, mm -hmm. nah, don't don't quote me on this because this is this is a couple years old information. But when I heard about it, it was hilarious. If you if you uh, Urban Dictionary, Wilmington, North Carolina, the definition is ninety thousand alcoholics camped out on a sand dune. Oh, it, it's definitely a city that's, that's built on beer. Yeah, that's that's what we do. We got yeah, beers in restaurants. It's a lot of drunk college people. Town. College town. College right, town. Exactly. So, if you women, go, women, I think the ratio on Wilmington is like three to one mm -hmm. in the oh, college wow. town. So it's it's yeah. literally more women than men, and they're beautiful females everywhere. So yeah. so to translate to the music as it being a college town, downtown be popping. Downtown is popping. Let's just say that. As as far as the music goes, is your music generating? Is it is it moving in Wilmington based on that environment that is coming out of too. Kind of, kind of. We got a couple of key groups in Wilmington that do a lot of work. Uh, me and him do a lot of work. Uh, I mean, as far as streams go, I mean, there's a couple of, there's a camp of talented people in Wilmington. You know, Trevor yep. Lanier. Um, oh, yeah. I want to shout out Trevor Lanier. I want to shout out St. Nikolai. I want to shout out, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a dozen names that you could list, you know what I'm saying? Like, but as far as like the hip hop is concerned, yeah. it was like, it was a slow, it was a slow trickle. You know what I mean? Because you went through your periods where there was no hip hop downtown Wilmington. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it was, it was hiding in, on the north side or like wherever people happened to be. You know what I'm saying? The sportsmen or places that people would link up. You know what I mean? There was always a party, but right. to bring hip hop downtown, there was a big push. Like with PFE, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of local groups that were like bringing. Now you have probably three or four different key spots downtown, downtown that, that you can actually go and see yeah. hip hop. You know what I mean? So it's definitely an improvement in the last, like I have to say, five six years. You know what I'm saying? It's growing. We still got issues, man. Downtown. It's kind of old in its ways. Yeah, They're mm -hmm. not too comfortable with hip hop there, mm -hmm. so we're kind of pushing and opening doors and shit, and it's growing. But mm -hmm. there's still a stigma, you know, where it's uh, it, it, it can be like that in certain areas. But I mean, with, with you, you bringing that music to the forefront, y'all stepping out there and and standing up and representing your city everywhere you go. It's gonna yeah. ultimately help. Let's start with uh, I want to start with you, Dirty White. I, I figured out the origins of the name. Who got you the name? <laughs> and um, let me ask you though, like. You, you know, you said you was working, you know, working at that time, working at a t-shirt spot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back then, did you have the aspirations to be an artist still? Because, you know, you was given the name or the, the name was, you know, brought upon you by somebody as, you know, in a, in a funny way. But were yeah. you getting into the music at that point? I mean, honestly, to keep it hot with you, I've been doing music since I was six years old. I oh, mean, okay. at six years old, I mean, not even trying to be on the funny shit, but I was in church playing Jesus Loves Me, you know what I'm saying, on piano for special music. I see like, I'm instrumentation. Not even, I know yeah, you're I mean, a real I mean, musician. So it's just like, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying, give or take, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but it goes way back, is my Don't point, like know, music in general. So, like, so when I, when I hit, when I discovered hip-hop, mm -hmm. which was something that as a... You know what I'm saying? As a church environment that I was kept away from to a great extent. You know what I'm saying? So finally, when I started sneaking and listening to the radio, and I started hearing, you know what I'm saying? Birdman was taking over. Like that was the, oh, the, the period era. of the Cash Money era yeah. was when I really started getting deep, and then I started doing my research and whatever, and I realized that those two things could coincide. I could be an artist and a musician at the same time. So at the point where Dirty White came around, I was already rapping. Like I had mm. bars written down. I was singing my little little hooks. I was still finding my style. I ain't going front like I was hot shit or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can always improve. But at the time, homeboy came to me. He's like, yo, you, you dirty white boy. That's what your name is, dirty white. And I didn't really like it to start with, dog. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, for about a year or so, I was, like, dissuading everybody. I was like, no, no, man, don't call me that shit. Like, I'm You're like, not a dirty white boy. We got into that last time, right? You, you know what I'm saying? The guy thought that I was. And honestly, like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's 
six one way, half dozen the other. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so I just yeah, like I feel like saying. nicknames can be given. You know what I'm saying? They can mm-hmm. be earned or whatever. So when he, I just kind of ran with it. You take full authority of it now. You know, and and, you, and I don't think, you know, you hear the name and once you hear the bars, like that's that's the furthest thing. That's the furthest yeah, yeah, thing from your mind once you get into the actual music. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about. Let me let me kick it to uh, Breeze real quick. Breeze, you. I was looking here. Hold on. Let me let me let me make sure I got it. I got it correct here. You you a film major? Yeah, I went to school for film. You so. went to school for film. Mm. So talk about how how you got into the music because of course I, I I'll just go out on a limb. Maybe making music videos or something that you started doing. Music came it. first, and film okay. film kind of gravitated from that. You know what I'm saying? The rappers the last to get paid on the totem pole. Mm. <laughs> so film school came as a way to get paid and kind of finance what I was doing. You know. What Can you I mean? say it again for the people in the yeah, back? The rapper is the last person to get paid. Jesus. Yeah. So film put me in there where I could shoot videos. You know what I'm saying? Have a craft that would finance what I was trying to do with music. So okay. So, so, how much influence do you have in your music videos when it comes to creative direction? As far as, cause, cause, you know, for those that don't know, you you got a video right now that's yeah. crazy. We, mm-hmm. Ball and chill has got <laughs> here. numbers. You know, if we want to quantify oh, yeah. by numbers, but as far as how much direction, let's just not say in that video. You can talk about that one, but yeah. in other videos that you have. I like to try to play the role of director, even if I'm not shooting. I'm okay. conceptual, so I like to try to keep that creative angle. But I also like to work with other people and let them do their thing. You know what I'm saying? And kind of see where that goes. You know what I mean? But I try to keep my own vision. I try to play director as much as I can. You know see, I've, seen you, I've seen you commandeer some some sets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, okay, hey. Look, I need such and such. I need this, that. Because you got that eye still, man. When, yeah. when you got that film, you kind of you kind of can see things, and if you can execute it or you can tell it to a certain person that can exactly. execute it the right way, it, it helps a long way. I want to ask you, uh, Dirty, real quick. Talk about the North Cat Minute real quick. Because I was watching the series, I was checking it out. Like, like you said, we, we, you a musician. Like, you a real deal musician. You got the, I tried, the guitar man. up there. Um, where did that develop from? And, and talk about why you started that. Well, that was uh, the actual the actual channel itself was really just a, it's just people pretty much just telling me to do it, honestly. Keep it hot with you. Because like, I love mm-hmm. hip-hop so much. Like Lyricism is near and dear to my heart. Like If I could do anything, I would write bars just... You know what I'm saying? Because, like, lyrics just blow my fucking mind. Like, I yeah. love it. But I love to play guitar and do other stuff. And so, you know, a collection of different people. Breeze included. Like, bro, just just drop some acoustic videos, man. That's all you got to do. Like, it's going to run your page up. And, I mean, honestly, the series is not over. I know I haven't dropped in a while because I've had actual visuals for actual songs that kind of got in the way. Like, my release schedule kind of got messed up. But I'm not done. Like, the series is not done. I got a list of songs on my phone right now. I'll request people to send and stuff that I know I got to learn and whatnot. But... Yeah, I appreciate you mentioning that, man. Go check that out. That's on my YouTube page, man. Dirty F. White on YouTube. It's real simple. But yeah, it's just me. It's called North CAC Minute because, like, we from North Carolina. I'm just like, bro, I just need a North CAC Minute. You know what I'm saying? And that could be anything. Like, you ever heard somebody say, like, give me a give me a little minute. You, you may you may not know. That may be five minutes or three minutes. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling how Right. at the same time. Right, yeah, um, trying to. Sing a little bit. For sure. For sure. Breathe. Yo. Who is St. Nicholas? Because mm. mm. I'm, I'm going through the catalog and I see Saint Nick. It's a whole project. Like, yeah, we was actually playing some. Uh, Saint Nick. We was playing yeah. some music off of that out there. We was waiting, but uh, Saint Nick's a homeboy, man. He's a. Uh, I did a lot of music with him last year. We did a whole project called I Forty. And yeah. uh, he's yeah. real dope, it's man. So gas. Too, yeah, man. me and him just got real good chemistry together. He's uh, we got different styles, but we kind of just mesh real well. You know what I mean? Mm. So. That project literally came from one song and a dope piece of artwork, and everybody said, yo, run with the whole project. So we kind of just played it out into a five-song EP, and it That's turned hard. out real dope. Yeah, huh? hard. Facts. So hard. Yeah, I, I definitely got a chance to check it out. It was some, some joints on there I liked. I was the only it's feature, different. too. I was the only yeah. feature. Five-song EP, yeah. and I was the only feature. We yeah. both kind of stepped out of our comfort zone, so the whole project is nothing you would hear from either of us. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of created that whole sound with that project. And shit. Y'all so, talked about uh, doing features, and, and I, I listened to a bunch of the songs y'all have together. Uh, yeah. Bree, let me ask you... What were your uh, what was you going through when you wrote "Lose My Mind"? That's his joint. You talking yeah. about my verse on yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's a very it's a real song, man. The, the, when he came to me with the song and he told me what it was about, man. Look, I wrote the verse on the spot. I think we recorded it that day, but uh, I mean the content was so heavy and it was so real, man. It was kind of no way to really. He kicked. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna say he, he came so raw, yeah. yeah. Like he already know. Bro. I'm sure he know that's crazy. Like I, I wanted to kick it to you on that. Oh yeah, you, you, to, you asked a good you know, question. You had, to come, you had to come with it. Oh yeah. I heard you, you, you definitely did your thing. But that's why I want to know where was where was Breeze at because he 
Well, it was an honest track, dog. I mean, that was it, it was honest shit that I think everybody deals with, but yeah. a lot of people don't want to talk about. And what's cool about the record to me is that most songs, when people do that, it's like a solo joint. You don't really get a lot of features that are super deep and raw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, the chemistry on that from both of us was real honest, and the song just came out dope, man. So, it was a, I tell you, it's too long. It's too long to be a commercial record. That was yeah. my only problem with it. It's like mm. 416, but you understand, like, but I said, it's way, not for the average way. listener. That's no, for sure. No, you have to be on your like. That's and honestly, not even trying to sound funny, but I feel like I'm. I'm like, you know, what I'm saying, like, I feel like, you know, workout cold, and but I'm dropping for your eyes only. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I hate that I got ahead of myself. I don't hate it at all because I love the song, but it's just like a song like that. It's crazy that you actually listen to that because that takes like no, something that's a little deeper than just you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're done. But I noticed that in a lot of y'all's music, though. Like, the, I'm gonna tell y'all the first time I heard y'all. Shout outs to uh, JVA Productions, right? Uh, Trap Fusion, event. right? Y'all hit me with the, uh, I, the the name of the record slipped my mind. Y'all was playing it earlier. The, it was How like the summertime. Cost? Yeah, it's like oh, the summertime. No, night, night off. Night off. Night off. I'm gonna take the night off. Real summertime like record to me, and it, it reminded ooh, me of that whole vibe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah, then I listen to the record. I go into the catalog and I hear, you know, songs like that. I hear, I hear Bastard. Look, I, I actually, <laughs> let, me, let me ask you, uh, shout out to Sleazy. Right, right. That's yeah. Sleaze me he out, man. Sleaze me out, man. Yeah, he, he, he definitely uh, delivered on that one. You say, uh... He produced yeah. a couple of records for me. He produced Matrix, mm -hmm. too. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you good, you yeah. good. Matrix shout out, Matrix shout out Sleazy, yes, yeah, for real. Um, you say, there at least three of me. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Who am I speaking with? Yeah. That's on Bastard. Yeah. Um, like what's your what's your, like your mental state? Like, is, is, do you feel like you is Dirty White a character? Is it, is it somebody else? When you when you said that line, like, what, what goes through your head? Is that real issues you deal with, or is that yeah? Just... I feel like honestly, that line was me trying to be transparent about like the different voices, okay. and honestly, like just due to psychology, I feel like we all have it to an extent, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's a little bit of that in everybody, but in that particular line, yeah, I just really wanted to put an emphasis on, like, you in any, you know what I'm saying, any situation, you might get three voices from me, you know what I'm saying? You might get an angry voice, a happy voice, a sad voice, you know what I mean? And due to any of those three, like, how does that apply to the whole reincarnation concept? Because the whole song is like, I must have been a bastard in my past life, because yeah. I remember the future like it's last night. So I'm thinking about shit that's already happened. How many versions of me have I lived to be able to come to a point where I can give you multiple voices? Where I can experience, I can give you, you different experiences, that, right? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you it's up right now on YouTube, Dirty F White, man. Yeah. Bastard hit 1K and I dropped bravery like a like, yeah. a, like a freight train. We're going we to definitely get into uh, yeah. that video as well. It's this, that, the third interview series we have yeah. live here. Dirty F White, Breeze Davis is yeah. in the building. I want to talk to Breeze real quick. Um... Magic, Magic School Bus. Ooh, he was on that I-40. Well, he found I-40 and stayed on I-40. I like I-40. I-40 was hard. What you St. Nicolai, shout out St. Nicolai, too. Boy, going in that Check him out on Facebook, man. Who produced that shit? Who produced that shit? Do you remember? Magic School Bus. Magic School Bus. Yeah, 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 Influences did you grow up having because like oh, that's, yeah, I'm a, that's a reference kid. you kind of got to get like you know being from a certain area that that magic school some kids might think it's certain that might mean something so, that's so what you do that's what we thought I'm like okay, they gonna know? think it's a song about Xanax bars or right, something right, like that right. you know what I'm saying but honestly you, hear it, you know I hear what you say I hear what you're saying and that we'll talk about like different influences that you might have from from stuff like that that you came up seeing I'm a big kid man I still watch cartoons so that's about <laughs> all I watch and that's that was the the inspiration for the whole project, man, it kind of just felt like a vibe with it. So yeah. when we when we were listening to the song, that's kind of the vibe I felt. So as we're going through and piecing things together, man, I don't know how I came across these Magic School Bus clips. And I'm like, yo, this would be real dope. So we start piecing it together. And that's and literally the hook came after that. So yeah, then we got that, was, and I'm like, it was the samples that did it because I was the one that wrote the hook. Like, yeah, the yeah, I heard the, the hook. Yeah, I heard the sample. Yeah, so like, well, he sent me the beat. That was what it was. He sent me the raw, the raw mix with yeah, that yeah. sample in the beginning of it. And I'm just at work listening to it. I'm like, man, Magic School Bus. Not it's a right. journey, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The whole project right. is a journey. It's it's us going somewhere that we don't typically go and trying to take people to that place, man. It's me and St. Nikolai kind of meshing in this whole new universe of sound that we created. So, like, right. Magic School right. Bus is just kind of the journey there, man. And that was that was probably the best song. He's my favorite song on the project. I don't mean no disrespect by this. But everything's not what it used to be, you
Residuals of belief in me Every time she calls me up and tells me she believes in me But what I think she really mean Is that she fear for me And hopes that my morals won't suffer from entropy But see I found bravery in my bravado I found a day in tomorrow I did I couldn't beg still a Yeah. To find a place in this world So I I found bravery in my bravado I found a day in tomorrow I did I couldn't beg still a Yeah. My mama taught me to eat my veggies, but now I smoke them She taught me to rise early and read my devotions But now the only thing I read is these comments on my feed It's full of real ignorance and fake emotion, damn And I still feel like I'm only going through the motions And I love my mama, man, go ahead and quote it But would I really be less twisted and still remain gifted If the rifts in my history were no longer in focus? Damn, that shit's a bitter pill in any dosage The feeling of being unappreciated and hopeless So regardless of my status or any successes Granted, I still find myself chasing my magnum opus I'm young, but I'm looking back like I'm reminiscing I wanna change destructive patterns and demand division Between me and the habits I've managed to create But admitting to a mistake isn't the same thing as asking for forgiveness So when I say that I wanna make my mama proud I'm not trying to say that I'm limiting my options now But I can never fill the shoes that she prayed for me Even though I treasure them kicks so faithfully I just wanted her to understand my bravery I'm trying to be the shining light that they never gave to me Even if that requires me attempting to deny Every single inch of identity that was ever faded me I, I found bravery in my bravado I did I found a day in tomorrow I did I couldn't beg still or borrow yeah. To find a place in this world So I I found bravery in my bravado okay. I found a day in tomorrow I couldn't beg still or borrow I forgot what I was doing if I start chasing that money. Yeah. Had to check myself one time, boy, it's by friends and your family. Friends Keep my family. attitude on level, I get nervous around slappers. I don't drink that much, just smoke, I need my senses. I swerve up yeah. on that curve and bit by bins, I keep that five for them jackets. Got some pot to put that cheese up on your head like the Packers. Red Fall, 24s on feet, came out the mud that I learned from a state. Never made money in free, caught it at least. I don't tolerate no bullshit, so they think I'm a truck. Say la be, pray and stack them G, overcome your struggle that way. Hold up, damn, had to find my direction. Holy Reef forgot me, cloudy with the mind of a legend. I'm trying to ball, chill, keep my pace, I want it. Oh, for real, we gon' be straight. I said, hold up, damn, had to find my direction. Holy Reef forgot me, cloudy with the mind of a legend. I'm trying to. Ball, chill, keep my pace, I want it 
on, for real, we gon' be straight I've been watching the stage from the back of the club Trying to wait for my chance, ain't no passing it up I've been rapping with soul, gave it passion and love But my partners keep telling me that ain't enough I mean money and women and fashion and such Boy, you in love with the flashy and stuff Actually, bro, that don't matter that much Sit my happy ass down on the back of the bus And you're right If I miss my stop, I ain't gon' flip my top But just buy With my pippins on, I never miss the shot I'm too fly no fools go by too cold. Who's side? Who came back and we ain't playing that night? Nah. When I was young, I just wonder what fame was. I knew that one day my day come. Yeah. Then what I stayed up and prayed for you. Yeah. Then what I stayed up and prayed for you. Older and wiser, I changed up. We do not care about the same stuff. That's all I'm saying, bro. Find my direction All that reefer got me cloudy with the mind of a legend I'm trying to ball, chill, keep my pace, I want it Oh, for real, we gon' be straight I said, hold up, damn, had to find my direction All that reefer got me cloudy with the mind of a legend I'm trying to ball, chill, keep my pace, I want it Oh, for real, we gon' be straight Feel like the old man on some new shit, got a school like the cool kids, cool club, show the do love on the rules, so we really do I'm this. Ball, ball, chill, Davis. Oh, oh, for real. Oh, we got their nose in my business. Do it all for some likes and a mention. Anything just to gain some attention. Now this is hard trying to tell who your friends is. Whole bunch of names on the friends list. Like a shelf where they even go listen. Shit, I ain't been around for a minute. I ain't got time to pretend like I'm with it. I feel the tension cut right through the L. She say I'm different. I told her I'm real. Before we get in it, let's get this shit clear. Don't feed me bullshit about how you so real. I am not paying your bills. Just cause we fucking, I ain't trying here. Roll up my pressure, put one in the L. Told me fall back, baby. I fall in cheese. We are back in the building. This, that, and the third interview series. Stephen the Dream, Thirty F White, Breeze Davis in the Good building up. with us. And hey, we just played two major videos back to back on them. Had to hit them with the bravery. It was it bravery, bravery and my bravado. And, okay. and we hit them with the what chill, all and chill, all and chill, all and chill. Yeah. featuring Scotty ATL. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout let's start. Cool yeah, shout, shout outs, man. Shout outs to the who, who directed both of those videos. Um, Torch House Productions, um, Torch Patrick House with Torch House Productions directed mine. I had a vision, but he kind of brought it to life. And, um, okay. Yeah, Kim Grady shot the video, shot uh -huh. and edited uh, Ball and Chill, Kim Grady Productions. So be before we got into the break, um, I had asked you about Kanye West influences. Mm -hmm. That that line that you of your tape came from a Kanye West line, essentially. Uh, yeah. How much like influence does he have in your your music or production or, or anything of that nature? I think the biggest thing that Kanye taught me was to be versatile and to be honest. Mm. Um, a lot of people didn't like Kanye for being honest. Kanye was the type of person who would get in your face with the honesty. And I'm not going to act like, you know what I'm saying, I'll never mirror anybody's style or be anybody but me. You know what I'm saying? But I did, like, I valued a lot of the things that he said, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, especially, so, like, nowadays, man, he on some old crazy shit. But, yeah, like, back in the day, like, I got mad love for, like, you know what I'm saying, like, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is where that line came mm -hmm. from. He's got this line in the very first track. He's like... Me found bravery in my bravado. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you say broken Spanish, me no hablo, that whole little sequence right there. But yeah. I just started thinking about that one line, and I'm like, because you know what bravado is. Bravado is fake. You know what Fact. I'm saying? Bravado Fact. is Fact. puffed up. It's based in ego. It's mm -hmm. not based in accomplishment. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So, bravery, however, is when you terrified, but you still saddle up and ride the fuck out because you know what you got to do. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, if you if you believe in yourself long enough, like I kind of get what he was saying with that whole line. If you believe in yourself long enough, you might find bravery in you that you never even realized you had. Right. You just right. gave yourself blind faith out of ego. Fact, you fact, believed in you yourself. Saying. And you knew you was the shit even though you didn't know why. But one day when you need to be the shit, it, it came out of you. It, it, it came out. Be there. So that was the whole idea behind the song. Even though it's kind of soft, laid back, talks about my mama a lot. 
the concept was still there. I was explaining to moms why I got to be my man and you can be, you know what I'm saying, who you want to be. I can't necessarily fill the shoes that, that you wanted me to fill. Mm -hmm. But I know that I found bravery in my bravado. I found something to hold on to, even if it's not something that you, you know what I'm saying? I, I want you to hold right there because we're going to come back because it's a, it's, a, it's a piece on there that I want to talk about with you. Okay. Um, let me jump to Breeze real quick. Word. The video was crazy. Mm. The shoot was crazy. Got my producer over here going crazy about about, about, about what's going on in there. You got to talk to me about um, that day, what went down. Let, let's not even get into the. Let's first start with the song, though. Like, what's your relationship with Scotty? Was it, you know what I'm saying, it just came together? Was it just some, some so, business? Like, how did, how did that go down? So that was dope. I mean, I was a fan of Scotty for a while before that. I had uh, originally, I, I'm a huge Crip fan. Big Crip, mm. one of my favorite artists. So I had. Seen Scotty at a crit show. Dope. Met Scotty, talked to him, built with him. It was dope. About three or four years later, my manager, who knew I was a big Scotty fan, had booked him to come to a release party for me. So I had a release party. Scotty shows up at the party. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, uh, so from that point on, we wound up working there that night. He comes to the party, shows up. We wound up doing the feature. And it was real dope. It was on the spot. It was kind of like, hey, I'm feeling the music. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. And mm -hmm. it was uh, it was natural. It was dope. It wasn't like I sent the feature off. Like, we okay, were in the okay. studio. We sat I'm down together. You know what like I'm saying? That. We cooked together. You know what I mean? And, and it was dope. So the song turned out dope. And a couple months later, we decided to shoot the video. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Got in contact. Had him come back up. And uh, it was crazy. The day itself was crazy. It was, it it was a giant wild. party, man. It was a lot of fun. So I want to ask you, every time. So I, this is the second time I've seen you. Yeah. Um. You gotta let me know, man. Like, where the style come from, bro? Cause I, you, 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 you a swaggy dude. I ain't gonna lie to but you. I feel like I'm bumming it tonight too. I'm right there, I've been in the car. I'm like, See, yeah. See yeah. that's Florida. I don't know. I get out of Florida, man. I was I gonna ask like, you if uh, it had anything to do with, uh, with, with your, your down south. Cause I mean, I'm sure, like, coming up, growing up, you ain't had no choice. It's just yeah, man. Uh, where I'm from, it's always been big on fashion and clothes is important. I guess you know it's. It's kind of a part of me. I've always enjoyed fashion. I like fashion. I keep up with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of my thing, man. So it's, um, it's just natural now. People be like, you, you always so fresh, and it's just the shit I get up and put on. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. You ain't married, did you, bitch? Yeah. yeah. So, so all right. So then, so, so them, them hoes be on you, man. You can get real, man. Them hoes be on you, bro. Hey. Real, bro. <laughs> At the current moment, I got an old lady. So oh, I'm okay. Hey. All right. <laughs> I'm, 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 about to, I'm about to go there with y'all. I'm about to go there with y'all. I'm on the record right now. With being, I'm being in this hip hop game, you know, being you know two two Caucasian brothers, I'm gonna say y'all y'all's brothers. Y'all got some flavor. How, how much swirl is y'all dipping in, man? What is y'all doing out here? I'm gonna go there because the people not look. They gonna kill me if I don't say something. He's an R&B singer, man. Look. I know. You I know. You did. I'm about to let him get away with that. Look. Look. That's why I had to ask y'all the, the swag, the the singing. Like again, it's. Being black, like, is a it's a thing, bro. I'll, I'll go ahead and say it, but it's there are other ways to be involved in this culture without making it look crazy. And I don't, I don't think you guys do. You have dress. People probably look at you and be like, I, I, wild, I get bro. some I get some flack sometimes, but it's just like to me. I mean, honestly, first of all, imitation is a sincerest form of flattery. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, that's all I got to say. Like, I, right, bro, like no, no lie, man. Little fourteen year old me with my headphones, I put in no ceilings. I was gonna have dreads if I had to buy them most Facts. time on. <laughs> Facts. I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just like that's the F and dirty. That's the F is for phenomenal. It's like Weezy F baby, dirty F white. That's, that's a tribute. The whole thing is yeah. a tribute. You know what I'm saying? I got misunderstood. Tatted right here on my, you know what I'm saying? From my way inside right. my main face. I want. I ain't had the balls put on my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. I put it right there. But it's just like you, that's you grew up and like can't nobody tell you like. Because, you know, somebody say, well, you just saying Wayne the best. Cause no, you know Wayne the best because you heard him. You I, watched him. You grew up in that. Yeah. So, you know, I, I ask, you know, I, you know, like I said about the swirl thing, but like how much, you know, just to give y'all the opportunity to speak on it, like how much do you feel like it affects you or are people looking at you in a certain way like y'all shouldn't be in this genre, y'all shouldn't be making this music? Because like I'll say if you listen to the music and y'all just had no face to it, mm -hmm. nobody would know. Nobody would know, but how how much does it affect you when you you know got opportunities like this and people get to know you? Yeah. Um. But going out in the real world, you still got to face it every day. Like yeah, you know. To an extent, I've never caught much slack off of that, man. Like I ain't nope. caught too much from nobody. I'm also a little bit older, man, and I think I mm. I've been doing it so long and I've been involved for so long that people kind of know where I'm grounded at, where I came from. You know what I'm saying and what I've done. So I don't really catch a whole lot of slack behind that, man. And I. 
I, well, I'm sure it happens and people say stuff that I don't necessarily yeah. hear about, but it never really gets brought to me, you know what I mean? It's I get well, I mean, it's at a lot the end of, of the day, at the end of the day I feel like one of the core things that hip hop was, you know what I'm saying, was founded in was the struggle was um, you know what I'm saying, yeah. consistency, yeah. rising above, you know what I'm saying, making nothing out of, you know, making something out of nothing or whatever and that's I feel like at the end of the day I may have to prove myself and be a little, you know what I'm saying? I come on the scene, somebody look at me and be like, well, he don't have the whatever to rock a crowd or he can't, mm. you know what I'm saying, whatever. Honestly, that's part of that. I'm sure it's going to get tiring eventually one day, but I'm hungry, bro. That's sh- Honestly, that shit kind of right. propels me in. Like when I walk in the club and I'm the only white dude in the whole club and I know I'm about to rap in mm-hmm. 10 minutes. Yeah, it's whatever. I'm about to rap, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like it's at, at that rate. You know what I'm saying? You have to trust that love for hip hop and love for, I guess, your fellow man, for lack of a better word, is gonna kick in and people going. You know what I'm saying? We're both. We're both the music. so about the business. About the music, with such you know good work like, ethics, man. Yeah. I think that a lot of times, man, business itself, man, like we're about the money. We're moving, man. And I think when you're doing business with people, man, and you're really making moves, move. a lot of other shit don't matter, man. You know what I'm saying? People want to make money at the end of the day. They see you moving, yeah. they want to get on what right. you're doing and vice versa, man. Right. And that's uh-huh. fact. And we both just got a crazy work ethic. So like, I think a lot of people fuck with us for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, don't let it get you down. Cause like, like you said, it's, it's this culture as not not nothing that you guys can really take advantage of when you've been a part of it for so long you know what i'm saying it's 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 ways that you could but i know that you guys y'all travel y'all look where y'all at right now y'all mm-hmm. putting in the groundwork mm-hmm. y'all do interviews y'all do shows mm-hmm. y'all work with other producers so at the end of the day can't nobody say your grind was any you know more privileged than another person oh, yeah. per say if anything it, it might it, it yeah. works against you in a lot of times you know just one of them, them situations where you know, the shoe gets put on the other foot a lot of times and and uh, you got to work just as hard to make sure your music oh, yeah. is legit. And y'all got some legit music. I think both of us are making a point to be extremely honest in our music too and people realize that. So we're not out here talking about shit that people don't think that we're doing. Like the shit that we rap about and the things that we talk about, people know like that's them and that's what they're mm-hmm. doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's not... There's not a lot of faking going. It's very evident that you know what I'm saying. This is really what it is, man. I think that it's a thin, it's a thin line you gotta walk too in a in a, in a fake it till you make it culture. You know what I'm saying? Like where there's a lot of people that go and sit on their next door neighbor's Mercedes and take a picture. You know what I'm saying? To flex for the ground. Like there's a lot of that going on. I mean, I'm not trying right. to call, I ain't calling no, no names, but right. there's a lot of that going on. And it's a lot of that. Ooh, ching ching. I right, take his chain back, put it back behind mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, and I'm like, I ain't mad at it because everybody got their own way. You know what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, I just hope that the work ethic will out push every day and all of it you know what i'm saying like it'll run you past everything that you hit you know what i'm saying if absolutely you just, absolutely you pushing hard enough so. um i told you i wanted you to hold on to the uh bravery and my bravado because i wanted to end with the song you got called is it pull up yeah. roll on roll on roll, roll on, on. <laughs> roll on and roll, hey, roll on. on you say uh people that ain't ever fuck with you now mm-hmm. they got something to say yeah what do you think people are going to be saying? People about? that ain't message you in 10 years. That was about an actual message. Mm. You know, that was an old family friend that always used to have some real sly, slick shit to say back in the day when I was 12 and 13 and I was wearing my little fitted cap backwards. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Always telling me that, you know what I'm saying? What you doing? Like, why you, you know what I'm saying? It's not a third, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then they hit me, oh, I'm so proud of you. I see you out here doing shows. I'm like, yeah, and I'm doing the same music that you was hating on when I had my Walkman in. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I wasn't mad because I ain't got time to be mad at nobody. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But when I go in the studio, I'm like, man, look, <laughs> I've been in this place for too long. At that rate, I just felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's move. You know what I'm saying? I just, Fact. just shake them off. Let it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Let it roll. The project out right now. Um, mm-hmm. What? Let me ask Breeze real quick. First of all, one million views. Ooh. One million views, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what's next? Like, what? Like, from from when you? Cause when you get to a plateau, you you Yo, gotta this realize. This is literally like, what me and my manager was talking about two nights ago. What's next? Like, what do we do now? Like, yeah. what's what's next from Ball and Chill? And um, right. Like, I'm waiting. This like that's what I'm, I'm sitting. I'm, I'm gonna sit back and tell you. I'm it's kind of hard like, to yeah. top that visually. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Way. Like, ah. visually, it's kind of hard. Yeah. We kind of put all that eye candy all out there. The holes that are retired. But nah, man, consistency. We are we we continuing to work. You know what I'm saying? And we we got a bunch of projects that are finna drop. I think that was that was a real pretty glamorous picture that we painted, you know what For I'm sure. saying? And everything, 
it goes back to earlier, man. We're both real versatile. So the next thing to be real big and real dope might not be anything like Ball and Chill. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and but that's what's cool, and and that's what I want to do. I don't want to put out another Ball and Chill. I want yeah. I want to go completely this way now, but it still be as dope and still get as much attention. So absolutely. So we got a project coming out. Like I got a project. Yeah. Uh, with a producer named Ben Frank 100 that he's gonna be all over, and oh. uh, definitely gonna have a couple singles with some visuals off of there. And that's the uh, that's the next thing I'm pushing now. How much so, that cost? Oh. Yeah, how much that cost is uh, that's the new that joint. Yeah, yeah, got the it's one of the ones that we did at Trap Fusion that night. Okay, how okay, yeah, 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 yeah. In that video, we'll probably be a little bit like Ball yeah, and Chill. Yeah, that's yeah, another trap song. song. It's a club joint, Nobody's so it's probably gonna be some ass in there. A few cheeks here and there. Dirty White, let me know what you what you got coming. Um, if you got anything in 2019, or if you're just gonna stick with the projects you're pushing right now for a minute. Man, look, I can't I can't sit still, dog. Dirty got about 42 know. videos. He ain't even dropped <laughs> yet, man. I got videos sitting in the shoot, ready to go. I'm nice. waiting on numbers. I'm waiting for my peoples to reach out. I'm waiting for everybody that's listening to this podcast right now. Yeah. To run go, them numbers to up. Go on YouTube, Dirty, Dirty F White, all one word. It's easy as hell. And run, run my videos up. That's all you gotta do. When they hit 1K, I'll drop another one. When they hit 1K, I'll drop. I another like one. that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing a million yet, but we are gonna work on it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it. where I'm. The mo but you see, it's, it's right there though. You see yeah, how close like, you is to well, it. The thing is, I was Literally. blessed. I mean, Bast you know? the Bastard video was out for like a month, four weeks, I think, and hit 1K. Keep working it. Bravery. You know what I'm saying? Keep working. Can we please get one. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. So when you ask what's coming up, I got two. Full length projects drop in 2019. I got a mixtape called cool. God Bless the Trap. God Bless the Trap. Uh, featuring the Beach Bombs, featuring Breeze mm -hmm. Davis, featuring my boy TVM Killer. Shout out him. Okay. Um, I got features from a few key people on that project. And then I got my full scale R&B album recorded by yours truly. V. Uh, mixed by Mike Amabuya. Um, ATL, shout out him, but I mean this it's a whole R&B album, dog. It's so okay. produced, it's all keys, it's drums, it's synth, it's Acoustic like guitar that. is everything. Like if you go on my, you know what I'm saying. If you go and look up one of my songs called Soul Regret, okay, that's the single that dropped off of it. That's the yeah, one that okay. I'm gonna hype up the album, and that was the one I was playing earlier in the lobby. A lot of, yeah, a lot of falsetto, a lot of smooth little runs. You know what I'm that saying? Nice. Like I'm trying to, nice. I'm trying to get couples. I'm trying to bring couples closer together this summer. Like I'm gonna have everybody booed up with this album. You know what I'm saying? I like it, man. Yeah, I'm trying to. Gentlemen, one more time, give them the uh, Instagram, give them the vitals, let them know where they can get the music, let them know where they can get the visuals. First yeah. things first, stay rooted, dot XYZ. That's can, the. Uh, can, can we just, can we just? I'm oh, sorry, pause up? for a moment. Shout out Stay Rooted Music Group. Look, Shout I butcher manager. I butcher the website every hey, time. Man. That's why I want to make sure I get it's it right. Stay, we changed it a bunch stay of times. Rooted, what is it? Stay Rooted. It's stay Rooted dot XYZ. And That'll XYZ. take you to a direct link, man. Get his profile, my profile. Shout out Stay Rooted Music Group. Uh, shout out Miss Colio. Colio, shout out Grady. Tuck Grady. Yes, yeah. please. Man. That's our that's management team, management man. They're working behind us all the time, man. So that's that cool. was the driving one of the some of the driving forces behind Ball and Chill and all that. Mm. Man. Anyways, Breeze yeah. Davis on Facebook. Get Fresh Breeze on Instagram. Breeze Davis on Snapchat. Pretty much Breeze Davis on anything. You Google okay. Breeze Davis, it's going to pop up. I'm also part of a squad called Ski Mass League. Ski Mass. One word. You can Damn pop that no. into Google. Ski. It'll pop up all of that as well, man. But uh. All the streaming sites, real simple. Breeze Davis, man. So mm -hmm. Spotify, title, all that. Go ahead, check it out. Don't you know get what I'm it. Run it up. Don't hey, man. man. Look, y'all go hunt for me. I'm on all the platforms as well. Like you said, YouTube, um, Spotify, Amazon Music. I mean, every Google Play Music, every platform that is available. Um, Dirty F White, all one word. It's super simple. Or Dirty White, all one word. Both of those will yield uh, search results on uh, on those different platforms. Um, my main focus, I please want everybody to go help my YouTube channel. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go watch Bravery. Go watch Bastard. Go watch Play Too Much. Go watch Seasons Change. Play shout out King Grady. You know what I mean? Go shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like, throw me a little comment. Whatever you want to do. Like, it's cool. I'm really pushing my YouTube really hard right now because I love that this is the year of the visual in addition to the projects that we're both dropping. We've linked up with some really key videographers recently, and that's mm -hmm. going to turn into a lot of... Y'all oh, follow these, stuff. man, man. Yeah, March 30th, too, man. We're going to be with Yellow Beezy in South Carolina, mm, yeah. man. Y'all coming, yeah. coming to Open the Open it up. Yellow Beezy. Flyers on my page. Flyers Yellow on Beezy. his page, man. Don't miss okay. that. That's March 30th. Shout out DJ Champ. We're going to be out there, man. Champ is in the building. There it is, man. Oof. The 910 is in the building. That's right. Man. Real, real heavy. Appreciate y'all yep. for coming through, man. Dirty White. Breeze Davis. Breeze Davis. Steven yeah. the Dream, man. Is this that in the third? And we'll see y'all next time. Hey. We out. Peace. Yeah. Not